Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Notion actually doesn't have a font size picker like Microsoft Word, Google Docs, or any other word processing tool that you may use. One of the trade-offs of using Notion is that it's a block-based system. So since everything is based on this block system, you can't really have full customizability of the font size or else all the blocks would all be different sizes. And that would complicate things a lot to say the least. That being said, there are a few things you can do to make your text more readable and easy on the eyes. So the first thing is the small text feature. Now, this page we're looking at right now actually does have small text turned on and the page that you're working on, maybe someone else changed it or maybe the way you got it, if it's something you duplicated, uh, it might've already been turned on. So what you can do here is go to the top right, these three dots here. And if this small text little toggle is turned on, you can just turn this off. And as you'll notice here, it got a little bit bigger. So we can just turn it on again, just so you can see the difference. That's on and that's off. So in terms of the styling menu, this is really the only option in Notion to make your text bigger or smaller. Uh, now there are a few workarounds that we have that you can use to make your text appear bigger and uh, you know make it more readable. So the first one is uh, using Command plus on Mac or Control plus on Windows. This will zoom in your whole uh, page all together. So it'll zoom in everything. So you'll see everything is getting bigger here from the top over here. Uh, it's not just the page that's getting bigger here. And if you want to make it smaller, let's say you did too much, you can hit command minus on Mac or control minus on Windows. Um, there is no option to just pick like one line or one block of text or one section and make the font bigger there. The zoom applies to the entire Notion workspace. So the other thing you can do to make your page more readable and easy on the eyes is you can create separation and emphasis on different elements of text by using the different heading styles, colors, and emojis. And so that's what we've done on this page, right? So this page would have just been, um, you know, blank text or maybe a couple of bullet points, but we added some toggles here. We added uh, some headings, we added some color, we added an emoji, this is heading one. Um, and then we added these bullet points and these little toggles here. And so let's say you wanna add a heading. So there's a couple ways to do this. You can either hit uh, slash and then just start writing heading. So you can pick heading one, two, three, whichever one you want and just hit enter and then start typing. And then you can basically change the color here and you can add, I've been using blue for this and boom, now you got a little nice separation here and you can add a different section here. Now, the other thing you can do to get heading one is you can just hit the hashtag or pound sign and just hit space. And now you're automatically in heading one. Um, if you do it twice, you're in heading two. And if you do it three times, you're in heading three. Pretty cool shortcut that comes in handy a lot if you're trying to make visually appealing uh, Notion pages. So the next thing we're gonna cover is the font style. So uh, we already went through headings. Um, the other thing we can do here in Notion is change from this default text we have, the default font style that we have, we can change it to serif or mono. So if we go back to the three dots here, you can see it has three styles. So if we can change to uh, serif, you can see it looks a little bit different. Um, you know, some people might prefer this depending on, you know, what kind of uh, use you have for it. And then we also have mono. I prefer to keep it default. I actually like the way it looks. And a thing to note is that it's gonna change it for the whole page. So you can't just change the text for like one line or one um, you know, heading. It'll change it for the entire page. And moving forward, the next way we can apply styles to text to make it stand out is by using bold, italic, strike through. Um, and I just realized I forgot underline, so let me add that here. Um, so how we do this is basically select the text that you want to apply the styles to, and then this menu will pop up and you can just apply it uh, by clicking on the B, or what you can do is just hit Command B for um, bold, Control B on uh, Windows, and same thing for italicize and underline and strike through. So basically, it'll be Command I for italicize, con Command U for underline, Command Shift X or Command Shift S for underline. So we'll just change this to Command U, and then we'll Command Shift X to undo the strike through there. So now we have all four of the options there. And the last thing we can do to make your text pop is to add color to your text or the background of the text. And so how we do this is you can either select the block and then go to color and then change the color. So let's say we want all of this pink and it'll change the color. Now let's undo that. The other option is you can select the actual word that you want highlighted. And let's say we want this is red and now we want this to be um, you know, so we want it to be blue. And so that's how you do that. 
So now how you add a background color is the same thing. You can either add it to just specific words or the whole block. Let's start with the block. You click on these six dots here and then go to color. And at the bottom, you'll see all the options for background. Let's try a gray background here and boom, you have that gray background. Um, and then the same thing here, you can just turn this into a color that you just apply to uh, specific words. So we can highlight the words and then come in here in this menu and just hit, let's say orange background, if we wanna just change that. And there you have it. So while Notion may not have a drop down where you can select the exact size of your font, uh, it does have a few workarounds to make your text more readable uh, and appealing to the eyes. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this was helpful.